For this section of the DVD, we're now going to show you another part that you can use for the karambit for control purposes or hooking purposes. This is once again where you form an angle and we'll use the back swing to control the karambit. One way to train that is get something for resistance like a training partner. So if I'm in here, all I do is turn it in, now I hook. Then I can thrust and slash. Hook, and what I do is I put pressure in there, now it's captured, and then I can release. So it's like a catch, capture, and then release. If I come up from here, catch, so the minute I come in here, I capture. So I've got, it's a very tight feel for him. Oh, he's gonna grab, so I'm gonna lock him up. You see where the knife I brought in? Because I've got control of the wrist already here. I just lock it, strip in there. I can go in here and then feel the back edge of that. Then you can release. You can release either to go directly into an attack or control the limb further. So, on the other side, I've caught it here, now it's locked in here, I can push down, then I can go into impact. If I'm on the inside, I've caught it here, now I control with the hook portion in there, then I can go to the inside. If I capture down here, turning it in, now you see how that once again? Capture, and then I can release this way. Show that one more time for us. Capture, so as soon as I'm here, I feel the lock in here, I bring it in, so now it's open for me to enter and slash. So anything that you use with this particular feature is a good catch onto the hand. And it works a lot when you're trying to guide someone. Inside there, he feels that, the capture in there. I punch in here, impact, I guide it out here. And I can get out to that. And you see, if I wanted to just carry him around, he can feel that everywhere. Now, we're working on a wrist. Think about what happens if I did the same thing here. Now, I think you can see, he can already see his facial expression. See that on the spine, maybe in here. If I put the capture into that, because it's very tight. So that's one of the reasons you would be careful, especially when the weight feature is still there. Okay, so once again, your capture, I can hook and destroy. I can capture, I can hook and destroy. Comes in very handy when you see them controlled. The control factor of a karambit isn't the hook. So what's important here is that the control feature of a karambit isn't from the curve feature where you see it coming out because then it goes away from you. It's to capture something and hold on to something into the body. And in this particular case, the karambit hook feature is right in there. The curve part can be controlled not as well because it's off my body. The ergonomics of this is to be able to push. But you see, once you start pushing and depending on the blade and not your body, the pressure is now on the wrist to control that. It will slide off. You understand? Some will reinforce by using an opposite feel of that. Okay? I don't know well, what did you just do there. Why did, why did you make that face? Uh, there's a little point right here. The little point of that, that he comes into that, right? Because I'm sandwiching. Whereas here, there's no pressure, he goes away from that. The minute I start to sandwich that, it starts to dig into the body, right? Right? And on the outside here, I can hook it into that. I can control. If I maintain the lock, he starts to feel, and I put pressure into it, you can feel him already feeling that. Impact. Knuckle dust, knuckle dust. Impact. Deploy. Slashing. Impact. Thrusting and jabbing. Well, you gave a lot away today. A lot, but guys, thank you very much for giving me a chance to share this with you. Uh, thank you to Fox 599, my choice of carry for a folder. It has allowed me to have a lot of fun with it. I've got the impact and trainer here. I've got the real one for real cutting. And this has allowed me to express myself in the art of Kali in which I love and enjoy.